divide ever. So in this video, we'll be talking about some interpretations related to the React and the things which are being asked as a React developer in the interview. So you have experience uh, close to two plus years of experience. So you can consider these questions in the depth. So what your question will be talking about here. So as per your experience, you can go to in the depth according to that. So you can prepare for that as well. And these questions I have been found uh, multiple places and uh, the few people who have been giving the interviews in the past. So I talked with them. So I had, I got this question. So so what is the virtual DOM basically? So you can talk about here. So what is the virtual DOM? So uh, what is the advantages of the virtual DOM over the real DOM? So how it uh, differs from the virtual uh, the actual DOM? So uh, you you can create your own uh, points related to the virtual DOM and make the note. So whenever you, someone asks related to the question, so you know that so how many points you want to talk over here. So this is the one secret I have. So I'll be creating one video over there. I'll be sharing some of my secrets uh, how the interview I have been clearing the interviews in the past. Uh, so, but uh, for now you can create a notes and how can you make the notes for it. So what is the virtual DOM you can think about over here. So what is the difference between from the real DOM? So how it get when you change something in the component. So without reloading your DOM, so how the virtual DOM get the component get reloaded over there. So you can work on that. So why, uh, what is the JSX and why we use the JSX into uh, React? So basically, so JSX is nothing but uh, we can say that the extended uh, JavaScript. So we use the JSX into the React. So you can read about it. So why we use JSX also. So what is JSX is the question and why we use it. So why we are not using the TypeScript or the React only. Sorry, the TypeScript or the JavaScript only. So why we are not using kind of it. So next question is what is the Angular versus React. So if you are know about the Angular, so the interviewer can ask you the question related to the what is the difference between both. So what is the use of the both. So is Angular is good or React is good. So if you have experienced more than five to six years, so you should know about this question. So what is the both the things? So I can tell something related to it. So the Angular is nothing but it's a framework and it's a, a React is a library. So we can import the React library into the Angular, but you cannot import the Angular into the React as a framework. So this is the one difference. And other thing, Angular is has a framework. So framework means that everything inside that. So we don't need to rely on the any third party kind of things. So whenever you are talking about the HTTP call and all, so we use HTTP client model over there. So we don't use any third party APIs uh, uh, packages to call an API kind of thing. So we use the XCOs, then we have the SW or something in the React. So we don't need to rely on such kind of things. So we can say this, this is another thing. And this is happened because of the only the, uh, we can say that the legacy application with a strict kind of thing. So they have their own rule in that Angular. We have to follow those, those rules only. So for that reason, Angular has a legacy application more and the React kind of thing as well. So you can uh, check the difference between both and you can make the notes according to that. So what is the states and props? So you might heard about the states, props, so what are the things So states holds the uh, your values to the component level and the props get uh, as a they can transform your uh, you can share your data from the parent to child with the end of the props so this is the question related to that so again the we use earlier with the class based component now we use mostly functional component so why we use a functional component so what is the difference between both so how get initialized so what are the basics of the both so what are the life cycle methods of the both so these things uh, will ask one by one according to your answer so you can prepare for this the what is the next question is the what is the difference between states and props as we discussed above so the same thing will be here as well so they will ask you the what is the difference between both now so if you are talking about the component level and the data sharing so you can talk about the both the things in the you can talk uh, first of all you can talk about the component level things then uh, as you tell the answer related to the states then you can move to the props now so what are the props when we use how can we communicate between the multiple components how can we pass child to parent data what are the callbacks method we use callback hooks we use so all these things you can uh, tell one by one so it will think that uh, you have a uh, deeper idea about the things, so you are explaining in the good way. So why we use a key props over there? So what is the benefit of it? So we use a map operator to iterate your uh, array data 
to render the array element of it so why we use key basically this is the one question so with the help of that it helps you uh, a browser as well so make it as a id kind of thing so it will help you to render each uh, each uh, element as a different kind of thing so with the help of that so we use a id in the html element so it makes as a, a unique kind of thing in the dom so kind of things uh, happen with the key as well so you can read about it here. so next slide will go what is the ref so what is the use of refs so you might heard about the reference variable we create into the react uh, with the hash and we can refer that so you can uh, read about the more in the ref so why we use it how can we use it what is the forward ref so what is the basic needs of it so do we use basically or it not so this question uh, asked me in the calgary interview so uh, he was asking me forward rep as well but at that time i was not aware about the forward rep and also you can read about that as well so what are the life cycle hooks method or life cycle methods in the react so you can talk about the class based component first if you worked on the class base and then you can come to the functional based component but if you are not worked on the class based component then you can mention that i have been not get work with the class base so directly i worked with the functional component or kind of thing so you can explain the what are the hooks you are using as a life cycle method for the functional component as a use state uh, then we have a uh, use callback then we have use it head when we use it kind of things you can tell about it so why we use a class name over the class attribute so basic difference between as you can see that the way use a class everywhere while writing the any kind of class into the css so but why we are using the class name in the react so you can search about for it so basic difference is that so class we use a class based component over there so class has a property as a class so we cannot use the same kind of keyword this is the keyword reserve keyword we can say the class so we cannot use the multiple times that class so that is why we have to use kind of thing so we use a class name for that what is the fragment so when we use it why we use it so what is the benefit of it so do we really need to use kind of thing so you can uh, go through this as well so whatever question i am just referring uh, as a counter question you can make, uh, make a note of that as well so it will help you so what is the stateless component versus the stateful component then what is the error boundary in the react then uh, error boundary is nothing but so you will create one component whenever you are uh, some components have a problem so at that time that the error boundary component will be loaded over there so it will show that what is happening and uh, everything over there so what is the react dom packages so why we use a react dom packages and how we use so what are the steps we have to use to add a react dom uh, into the your in the your project so you can prepare according to that so if you have less experience then they can ask you to for the steps so in that way they will know that so you you know the step at will so you can easily uh, work on that the react dom and all packaging so what is the child prop so uh, you might heard about the content projection in the angular so same thing kind happen with the react in the in the here so we can pass the child properties directly as a html element you can pass directly to the your uh, child component so with the help of the child prop you can get that so how to fetch data from the react rules so we use a uh, use effect basically so we have the types of the use effect so we use a dependency then we don't use dependency and another thing we don't pass any kind of the uh, array kind of thing so he will give you uh, one simple examples over there or a code and ask uh, he will ask you how many times this code will uh, run now so you can prepare for this so first is dependency in the array no dependency in array and the no array so these are the three things into the fetch uh, use effect so what are the hooks and uh, why we use it so what are the use cases of it so you can talk about the you set state then use it state then use context api use callbacks all these things comes to the hooks so you can prepare uh, the hooks for that hooks and what is the redux so why we use it so how we use it so what things comes to the into the redux so what uh, 
you can talk uh, you can talk about the props drilling so when you want to uh, share your uh, data from the child 1 to child 10 so at that time you have to do the prop drilling pass to the next 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 so, so to overcome such kind of things we use the readers we use the context api so with the help of that we can share your data into the multiple components so same thing we do in the subject with the ngrx as well uh, it's a rhs operator the subject operator so with the help of that we can share our data with the help of the services into the multiple files in the angular so same thing happened with the redux as well so you can prepare for that what is the use state hook so basically so what is the use of it so why we use it when we use it and how can we set a default value to the use state with the help of use state so you can uh, search for this as well so so this is the common question basically i can say and how to create a counter in the react js so he will create he will ask you to open a terminal sorry he will ask you to open a browser and go to sand code sandbox create a react project and he will say that so create a one counter so basically when you click on plus it will increment it by one and if you click on minus it will decrease it so in that way he will ask you to create a separate counter for that so how you create it so what method you are using so how you are calling that so is you are creating the arrow kind of the architecture over there or you are just calling the on the regular function so and if he if he ask you to make it as a send the dad data to the child component so child component just render you the value so how can you pass the data so all these things comes as a counter questions into the your uh, coding example so i'll be covering some coding inter questions for the react as well in upcoming day so that's it for this video inter interview video interview video so it can help you as well so if you have any question related to your interview process or any kind of thing so please reach us as a, on the instagram so we can try to help you as well over there so if you want to have a mock interview with us so we can arrange a mock interview for you as well and the share the whatever the feedback we have been in that interview will say that so i can share the all the details whatever uh, where you need to improvement so what are the things you have to be taken care in the future interviews and uh, so that's it for this